Welcome back to the show. And over the years, we've had a lot of requests on how to do what I call the double braided um, lay. Well, in our new lay book, we're calling it the deluxe braided lay. And what it does is it allows you to use three colors in your lay instead of just two because you're going to use actually four pieces of ribbon and de you can decide how you want to arrange it. Um, a lot of schools nowadays has three colors, you know, Iolani, red, black, and white, um, Kapale has teal, black, and silver. So there's a lot of other schools that has a lot of colors in their lay, so you, you want to have more than just two. So this is what we call the deluxe braided lay. And if you know how to do the regular braided lay, you'll be fine because all you need to do is you're going to be actually doing two. So let's just get started. If you're doing a regular single braided lay, normally I would just take one ribbon and it's best if the ribbons are the same width. So right here I got quarter inch and I will just loop them with the shorter piece tail on the top and we'll leave that as, um, you're going to need those later for when you end your lay and you tie it up. So we got that. And what you're going to do is you're actually going to make two loops and you're going to slip it inside. Okay, so this is how we do, get this out of the way, this is how we do our regular lay. Now the longer piece, which is going to be coming from your roller ribbon, is going to come up and in. You make a loop and you put it into that loop. And now you're going to pull the black one. So you have that done like that. And what I like to do is make sure that the ribbon with the open loop is always pay, um, kind of like going at an angle, either this way or this way. That way you don't get confused on where you're supposed to put your next ribbon. Next, you're going to take the black ribbon, in this case, loop it, and slip it through. And then we put it through there. Now you're going to pull the red one to secure it. So this is how you make your basic lay. So see now how the black is going this way? And then you would just continue on. And so this is the really easy lay. This is the simple braided lay that a lot of people like to make because you can, especially if you have a lot of people that you have to give the same lay to, like maybe a sports team or you know the whole kindergarten class or something like that. So you're just going to continue doing this back and forth, back and forth. So that is how you make your simple single braided lay. And with all of these lays, when you come into the end, say I have made the whole thing and you're at the end, what you're going to do is this one, you want to follow your braid. So you're going to take this, instead of making the loop, you're just going to fold it over and carry it through so that you repeat the same pattern and then you're going to tie it. And then when you take this one, you're going to lift it up and also repeat the same pattern and then you can tie it together. So that's what you're going to do and then you get both ends and tie it together. So that's how you make the single braided lay. Now, when you're doing a double braided lay, and this time I'm going to do three colors. So I'm going to use red, white, and I'm going to use two pieces of black ribbon. To make it a little easier, because I'm going to be working with a lot of ribbon, what I did on this time is I did a slip knot around one to hold it in place. So I'm setting up my ribbon. So this is, is, this would be like if I were doing a single braided lay. I did a slip knot and this would go in here. Okay, so we have one set and then we're going to need another set. So this time I have the black tied around the white. And then I'm going to set it up. You want to be able to hold the two lays together, basically. So we hold it together like this. And if you kind of look, it kind of, if you just look at right here, it'll look like a checkerboard almost. Okay, so you have it like that. Now I'm holding it again at an angle so that I know what I want to work with. So I have them going this way. When you have it stacked like this, you want to work on your top loop first. So that means since the, this is the black and red pair, 
with this black loop, I'm going to take the longer piece of red ribbon and I am going to grab it and loop it through. So it's a little tricky because you have to hold it all together because you want to be able to catch the ribbon. And then you pull down the black. Now keeping it still at the same angle, I know I have to work with this one. So the next one is a black with the white and the longer black ribbon has to go in side of this. Go and we pull our white down. So I know it looks kind of messy in the beginning, but it's a little tricky. Now that you have it facing this way, black is on the top, black and white work together. So next now you have to take the white and loop it through and pull down and secure with the black. Now you have the red one, red and black goes together. So you take the black one and you put it through the red one. Oops, there we go. And you're going to pull the red one to secure. So now you're back to where you were before where the ribbons are going this way. So again, black is on the top, black and red is together. So we take this one and we put it through on the top and we pull the black. Now we have the black and the white. So we take the black again, slip it through the white. Oops. Slip it through the white and pull the white. And now they're going this way. Okay, so let me put that aside. As you continue on, you're going to start to see the braiding happening. And it's going to be, because it's holding together better, it's going to be so much easier because your ribbons will be further apart from each other. Now they're further apart. And it's easy for you to continue on. For this part, you're going to notice that, oh, black is on the top. So you're going to go with the white. And you're going to go through, pull it down, and secure red and black and this will go through. So you have your loops, and now they're going this way, so you're going to just go back. And a lot of times what it really is, is the last ribbon that you worked with is going to be the first ribbon you're gonna work with when you're, when you're um, doing the next set. Okay, so you just continue on and make your lay as long as you want. And again, when you come to the end, what you're gonna do is if this was the end of my lay and I have my loops like this, these, this one is just going to slip through here to continue that pattern. And these two are just going to, the two colors that are in the middle all the time are just going to be pulled up together again in the braid. And your last one on this side, again, will be pulled through this loop to continue the pattern on the outside. And you'll gather them all together, not it together. And then you end up with your lay. Now, the one thing I have to tell you that's a little interesting is you don't have to use a whole lot of ribbon. It's recommended about five yards per, um, per strand, so for each of the colors. It does have a little stretch to it. So it will be, you know, when you're working it, if you start to pull it, it might come a lot longer than you want. So you need to be careful. You know, after a certain point, it's not gonna stretch anymore. This is also a great base if you're doing, say, a money lay and you take your dollar bills and you roll it into those fan flower discs because the lay has holes in it. You can put the disc on top tie a ribbon through in the back. When the kids need the money and take the money off the lay, they'll still have a lay. So this is a simple deluxe braided lay 
Our instructions are in our new laybook 8 and it's a very economical lay to me. I'm gonna take a short break while I finish up my lay and we'll be right back. 